What up, chat? So last time when we watched Pop the Balloon or Find Love, it was multiple male contestants against a army of female contestants. So this time we're going to give the girls a chance. There was a lot of criticism for the girls that were popping their balloons. So this time we're going to be looking at a bunch of girls coming in and getting their balloons popped by guys. That sounds odd, but let's jump into it. It's your host Arlette and we are back with another episode of Pop the Balloon or Find Love. And this episode we have the men lined up. Hey guys, make some noise. <laughs> Y'all don't sound ready to me. Well, okay, we'll, we'll get started anyway. <laughs> All right, guys, so... Uh... So I will say there's a difference in enthusiasm between the way that the women handle it and the guys handle it. On this episode, we're going to have the girls come out one by one. Once they come around this corner, if you're feeling her, you like what you see, her outfit's on point, hair, makeup, whatever it is, do not pop your balloon. But if you see something you don't like, you're just like, nah, I can't be with this girl. Go ahead and pop your balloon and I'll go over to a few of y'all, see why you ended up popping and so on and so forth. Y'all ready? I think this dude in the middle here with the dreads, I think he's gonna be the pickiest out of everybody. This first dude's gonna get the most girls. And I feel like he's going to be very stoic throughout it. Go ahead and get started. Let's go ahead and bring out our first single lady. There's always that pause. Hello, hello. Welcome in. What's your name? Corey. Corey, how old are you? I am 25. 25. And uh, what do you do, Corey? I am an entrepreneur and a real estate investor okay. and a model. But, you know. A lot of multiple things. You know. <laughs> okay, okay. And so, um, Corey, what do you look for in a man? <sighs> Before she gets to that, I will say, I thought that she would get a lot of a balloon pops because a lot of guys nowadays, and maybe throughout history, but now it seems more prevalent that guys are picking more conservative dressed girls. So just off of looks, as they do in the show, just looking at this girl, her, her outfit, nice as it is, it is more revealing than our new typical guys would like? I look for a genuine, um, basically the opposite of me. Genuine, So okay. basically I can describe me and that's what I would love in a man. So attentive, caring, kind, genuine, down to earth, mm -hmm. you know, and basically the opposite of me. And so what do you like to do for fun? I love to sew and draw. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. That's what I do at my fun time. Nice, and yeah. so like, Cool. I made dresses. So I made this. All right. Uh, that is a beautiful dress. Thank yes, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, Corey, not one balloon has been popped yet. Okay. <laughs> so, so <laughs> I'm going to actually switch it all over to you now. Okay. So, sir, if I can have your toothpick. Thank you very much. Let me hand this over to you. So, first round, I know, is always a little bit hard because you're going right, to have to do pop? it just strictly off of looks. You don't know them or anything like that. So, I'm going to have you pop two balloons of two guys who are not your type. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, you can still pop those two. We'll go. He, he messed up the order of things. He popped it late. But I do like this factor of the show because it does it off looks. And, like, although looks aren't everything, it is the first thing that you get even in a non-game show environment back to him shortly <laughs> <laughs> and you can pop the two and then i'll go ahead and ask you why you ended up popping okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh damn she's getting a pop for that laugh okay. you just uh, go whenever you're ready <laughs> yeah okay we can just gonna... okay and one more okay. I'm sorry. you can go for the dark brother okay yeah i knew it i knew it all right, so let's stay over here. If we can have your name and how old you are. Uh, my name is Madid and I'm 32. And Madid, what do you do? I'm in finance. I do compliance analysis, but I'm also an entrepreneur. Okay. Uh, a lot of side, you know, side gigs. All right, nice. Okay. All right, and so Corey, why did you end up popping his balloon? Um, just the attraction level. It's not there for me. Okay. And so, you know, that's about it. That's all I can say. <laughs> hey, I respect that. <laughs> All right, That's and now, is, though, um, like, why did you leave your balloon unpopped for her? Uh, she's a gorgeous woman, you know. Uh, you know, I like her style and the fact that she said she made the dress herself, you know, uh, well put together. And, you know, obviously she's in real estate, looks like a woman that, you know, has something going on for herself and, you know, probably knows what she wants. But, hey, you know, she made the choice. <laughs> Thank you. 
There's a thing, I don't know if you know about this chat, but it's like it's like colorism where it's like darker people, the darker you get, the the shorter end of the stick that you get. And I've noticed it's a repeated pattern, whether it's male or female. Everybody always always the darkest people there always get put out. Every time. Every time. I guess you could think about it with almost anything where it's like uh uh the left and right side of things, not politically, but like you have this side, this side. So if you're on a color scale, it'd be like not color scale, but uh just hue wise. Super duper pale light, super duper dark, right? People are always going to be away from extremes. And you could apply that to literally anything. And then most people fall somewhere in the middle, which would be like a lighter brown if you're talking about color and it's center politics if you're talking about politics and things like that. We end up popping his balloon. Just an attraction level again. Again, That's okay. It. okay. Nothing personal. I don't know. But maybe if we had a conversation, it could have been different. But just off of the attraction level so far for me. That's about it. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> and now, why did you have your balloon? Oh, I'm sorry. Can we have your name and how old you are? David, 34. Okay. And David, what do you do? I cut grass. I lift things up and put them down. Okay, like a landscaper? Yes, I'm oh. a landscaping company. Oh, nice. Okay, cool, cool. And now, why? Why did he do that, bro? He said, huh, yeah. It's like, bro, you're the one that chose to be vague and say you cut grass. Like, don't put that. Don't. He said, huh, yes, I own my own landscaping company. <laughs> <laughs> and now why did you leave your balloon unpopped for Corey? I feel like I feel like he was trying to trying to throw shade like oh you don't want me? Hey, what? I'm just a guy that cuts grass. Like I don't know. That seems odd to me. Uh <clears throat> Honestly don't know why. I just left it open. Okay. <laughs> okay. So is she your type? Is no. she someone Okay, and why not? Uh Yo, he is so hurt. He is so hurt, bro. Is she your type? No. Then why did you, like, he said, I have no idea. You know why? Because you thought she was beautiful. Like, and now you got popped and you're like, oh, she had the audacity. I'm the only one here wearing a suit. <laughs> uh, well, I just. I'm sorry. She, I laugh a lot. It's okay. <laughs> no, she's just not my type. It's not that she's ugly. Okay. <laughs> she's not my type. Okay. All right. That's cool. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> you're fine. Let's go on over to our guy who ended up popping his balloon. All right, sir, if we can have your name and how old you are. My name is Joseph Smith. I'm 37. And Joseph, what do you do? I'm an Uber and Lyft driver full time. Okay, all yeah. right. And why did you end up popping your balloon? I don't know. It's the knee, the right knee. It got something going on. I don't know what it is. I got eczema. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So not only in the girls' one do we have people like this, we have this one in the guys' one, of course, you know what I mean? It's always there. There's always people there that aren't actually there for the game, but they're there for clout or something like that. He's trying to make a, a popular clip that'll get him or whatever platform he's on to get spread. He said, the, 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 the knee got some going on. Then he said, I got eczema. That's like a popular meme, bro. Come on, you're just memeing. And I use coconut oh. oil. <coughs> yeah, zoom in on that. Um. Oh my goodness, why? Why, bro? And I just don't know why it's like that. So I seen it and I was like, she not gonna take my coconut oil <laughs> regimen seriously. Okay. Everything else looked moisturized, you know, but I seen that Ooh. and that was, that was kind of a red flag. Okay. Ooh. That's it, that's it, that's the only thing. Just the knee. Just okay. the knee, right one. Dang. <laughs> Oh my gosh, bro. He's dead ass trying to be funny. And it's like, that's what's, that's what's, that's what's going to be the downfall of this show because it's like, it might make it succeed for a while, right? It's going to make it go up a little bit, but eventually it's going to become a downfall because it, 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 it it's going to be just like regular rea reality TV where it's like when it first became a thing, it was as real as it gets in that environment. And then gradually as people find out this is something popular, they're going to go on it for the reality TV aspect, but they're, it's all going to become, if not scripted, planned by the individual right and that's going to be i'm predicting that's going to be the downfall of this type of show because then it's going to be like it's just going to be like a sketch like everything else <laughs> you just did me <laughs> no it's, i mean everything else is good you're beautiful oh. but that right there to me i that gotta be moisturized i feel you yeah. i actually fail <laughs> you fail i fail and i was thinking of something like that i was thinking of something I fell like that in this, in this healing process okay all right okay yeah but you gotta take I care understand. of it. You gotta take care of it. <laughs> yeah, it's healing. So, yeah. all right. Now, Corey, is he your type? Say the truth. Don't look at me. What's? what's I'm she's just supposed to look at you. So I can analyze you. Oh, okay. so I can. Go ahead, Corey. I, weird. Mm. Weird. They made it weird. <sighs> um. No. What was? 
You say you were 37? 37. Just based off of the age, no. Okay. It's a little too old for me. I feel it, damn. Ooh. Mm. Damn. Mm. Okay, so just his mm. age. Look, bro. Damn, y'all 37? Y'all 40? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go on over to our Yo. next balloon pop. <laughs> if we can have your name and how old you are. My name is Josh. I'm 37. Okay, Josh. And what do you do? Uh, I trade stocks and I receive a military pension. All right. Okay. And now, why did you end up popping your balloon? Well, I'm 37. So she said right there. Like, <laughs> what I'm, what yeah. I'm doing now? <laughs> Okay, and now apart from her saying, you know, 37 is a little too old for her, is she someone that's your type? Mm, I mean, yes, but like the knee thing, like oh. he pointed out, I was like, ah, he's, because I saw the same thing, but I just, I didn't want to, I wanted to see what she was about. Okay. I think we're kind of Bro, like what is wrong knee, with her knee? But I'm 37, 25, yeah. but she's beautiful though. She is beautiful. How funny and ironic is it that like, like she has this tattoo here also. She has this tattoo that's specifically pointing to the knee. <laughs> Definitely my type. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and now Corey, is, is he your type? Once again, based off your age, 37, mm -hmm. I was 25. Why is she that's doing me. slave talk? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. I was 35, Massa. Yeah. Bugging. Right, let's go back, we had one over here. <laughs> oh, right here. <laughs> okay, if we can have your name and how old you are. My name is Eric. I am 38. Okay, Eric, uh, and what do you do? Um, I train animals, and I'm in advertising as well. Okay, that's pretty cool. And now, you emphasize 38, so I'm guessing just that's... that's that, that, yeah, I just figured I'd save myself the trouble. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, now, apart from, you know, popping because she said 37, right. 38 is a little mm. too old for her, is she someone that you would approach? Yes. Okay, and why so? Uh, I like the fact that she likes fashion, mm -hmm. and I'm very fashion conscious as well. Mm -hmm. So for me, I thought that was a good plus, and she seems well put together as well. So, okay. yeah. Cool, thank you. And now, Corey, apart from the age, if he were someone that were to approach you, would you be down with now that? Now, this one here, the you look. I mean, change, your, change your mind, it's okay. <laughs> If it, if my knee doesn't bother you because no. I failed. No, no. I, I have I have scars on my knee from I riding a from riding a motorcycle as well. I oh, fell, okay. so. Okay. Yeah, okay. that wouldn't that wouldn't bother me. I like scars. You want to know how I got these scars? I like the scar on her. Oh, her thank her you. I got eye. a few scars, baby. Yeah, yeah. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? A few of them. Fuck yeah. But thank you. Okay. But so. you know, he's cute. He's handsome. Oh. He's yeah. <laughs> I like the locks. Can yeah. you have them nice and done? And Thank you. Yeah, yeah, look at that. That's <laughs> a different design for me. Yeah, yeah. You know, we, we pay a lot for this. So, yeah. Gotta show it off when we can. So. Okay. Yeah. All right, cool. Thank you. No All right. So, we still do have. Hey, his locks are fresh, though. I ain't going to lie. Unpopped. I ain't going to lie. So, did you have a question you wanted to ask the guys to help you narrow it down? Um, do you guys have kids? Okay. Ooh, a female let's asking over there to the about male's kids. kids. Before we had a male. Oh, let's back it up. Another one. <laughs> 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 All right, so if we can have your name and how old you are. Um, my name is Obi. I'm 30 years old. 30. Okay, and Obi, what do you do? I am a maintenance technician. A maintenance technician. Okay, and now um, she asked if you have kids. How many kids do you have? I got three. Three kids. <laughs> I got three. Okay. All right. <laughs> yeah, we'll you knew it was Let's over. <laughs> Bro, when you say how many kids you have and it makes you, even you laugh, <laughs> it's like, bro, soul died. He said, I got three. I got three. <laughs> All right, if we can have your name and how old you are. Uh, Miko Patron, uh, 37. Okay, and Miko, what do you do? Uh, welding engineering. Okay. All right, and now, how many kids do you have? I got two, two little girls. Two kids, okay. Yeah. All right, let's go to our next guy. Your name and how old you are? I'm Sean. I'm 32. Okay. And what do you do, Sean? I'm an SER, uh, sales development representative. And I'm how many kids do you think you got? Put it in the comment below. Say Sean has X kids. Well, wait a second. Sean has blank kids. How many kids does Sean have? Ready? And the reveal in three, two. I worked for Amazon. Okay. And how many kids do you have? I have two kids of my own. Yes. Okay. Were you right? All right. Now, Corey, are children a deal breaker for you? Uh, 
I have one more question. Okay. How many baby mothers do you all have? Deal breaker, baby. Deal breaker. <laughs> Damn. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Right. And now, why did you have your balloon unpopped for Corey? Uh, well, she's beautiful. Mm -hmm. um, I was interested to hear what else uh, she would have to say. Any other questions? Um, I already knew the complications <laughs> that will come into this. So I just wanted to see, wait it out. And it's a deal breaker. So I'm good. Yeah. I'm living my life. Thank you. Yeah. And now, he did the no same look for you pop. as well. How many baby mothers? Same baby mama. One baby mama. One baby mama. Yeah, one two baby mama. cherry. Two same okay. girl. Is that? Can we come back? You want to? Okay. We'll come back for you then. She wants to give you a pass. So let's go. Oh, he ended up popping. Yes. Sir. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so why did we end up popping our balloon? Um, just in general, just already knowing that, you know, you already don't like people with kids, you know what I mean? I ain't trying to, you know, interrupt nothing that you got going on, so I'm going to just let it go. <laughs> That's <laughs> fair, though. That's fair, though. It's like, you know, you don't want anybody that doesn't like kids to be part of your life if you have kids, you know what I mean? And if you don't want kids, obviously you don't want kids around because then you can't force something like that. Because then it's just bad for the kids at the end of the day, whether there's resentment on either or side, or it's just going to be brought up if they know it like that and it's something like that deep, because you can't do nothing about that. You just want the best life for your kids, and if you don't want kids, you want the best life for you, or whatever the heck, you know. We do have our one guy left. Mm -hmm. Did you have any other questions for him that you wanted to ask him? Um, I, yes. Okay, let's go on over to him. Yes. <laughs> yes, <X. laughs> All right, go ahead. So have you ever been married before? Never. Hmm. Do you li growing up, did you live in a two parent household? Nope. Lived by myself, I was. Lived by yourself always? I was. So you raised yourself? No, I really raised myself, but since I was twenty, I've been living by myself. So who raised you? My mother. Just your mom? Yes, my mama. Hmm. Do you know your father? I know my dad. Do you have a relationship with him? Yes, I do. Good one, bad. Good. I'm sorry, bro. Why does this feel like an interrogation? This doesn't feel like a date anymore. Look how serious everybody's face got. Like it's very, very interrogation vibes, bro. <laughs> like, what is going on here? The whole dynamic changed. Like, it's like she's a fed or something. I'm 50-50 because of the kid part. Okay. You know, that's it. That's the reason. Just say no. That's all right. <laughs> I don't have children. Okay. I don't, I want some maybe later on in life. I can't do the baby mom drum stuff. I don't know if you guys have it or not, but. My baby mama cool, laid back. <laughs> she married already. She already married. She already married to another guy. I know that. So right. I'm just Look me. at her living her best life. <laughs> Um, what? Now nah, I became about her. I'm confused. <laughs> I'm just say no. Okay. Yeah, plus you don't know what drama they got, but you are, I mean, it's a positive outlook on it. Like, But you already saying, like, look at her living her best life. You don't know she could have been abusive to the guy. You know what I mean? And they just got married. Like, I'm sorry. And you can go ahead and pop it for her. And I don't think that, I think that's everybody. <laughs> that All right, so why did you end up going with no? Because the kids are a deal breaker for me. Okay. I you should have been said that. That It wasn't at first, but now it is. It's like, I guess she thought about I it. I want somebody that doesn't have kids, and we can share the experience together. Okay. And he already has two, so you done been there, done it twice. <laughs> and the third time, we're... Okay, you know? And, 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 <laughs> yeah, no, okay. and no need to do it one, I mean, second or third, because... The first one, the second one, I wanted to be the one legit. That's mm. it. Shit okay. happened. But the second one, I wanted to be legit. I feel That's that. That's it. Yeah. I feel that. That was okay. nice. All right. Yeah. Well, Corey, that, that nice. is all the balloons <laughs> popped. Yeah. Fortunately, we yeah. weren't able to find you a match today, but thank you so much for coming on. Oh, y'all about to have so much fun with all the other ladies back there. <laughs> Ooh, can't wait for y'all to see. All right, man. So. 
that was our first look at when the guys get a get a shot uh let me know below if you want to see more of this let me know what you thought about this episode we'll come back next time with more girls lined up and then we'll do guys again i think we'll do it alternating like that but leave a comment below what you thought about this one what did you think about that knee that knee fiasco anyway much love as always be safe out there